Hey, what's going on guys? This is Paul from Respect the Tech and today I have a special unboxing for you guys. A friend of mine just got a new laptop and he decided to help me out and donate this to the channel for me to uh, go ahead and unbox it for you guys all to see. Uh, I just want to preface this that this is not going to be some major high-end laptop that is going to compare to the XPS 15 or like the MacBook Pro. This is actually going to be more on the budget side. However, he is going to be using it for video editing so I am excited to see how this compares to something that costs like three times the price as this. So without further ado we're gonna go ahead and get into this this is the asus vivo book f402b i'm excited to see how this bad boy looks this thing currently runs for uh 399.99 so we're gonna see how it compares to something that's a bit more higher end let's get into it well, looks like the packaging doesn't seem to be too intense okay in search of incredible okay let's see all right, so right away we got the laptop. Uh, no special over the top crazy packaging. Oh wow, this thing is really light. Uh, so we have the Asus branding here on the top. Um, as you can see here, ooh, is this the back? Oh, the back, my apologies. Uh, so we have the front of the laptop here. Oh wow, okay, not bad. Really, really light. Uh, you can tell this is meant for like portable on the go, light travel usage really nice you can just slip right into a backpack or like a carrying bag and just have no issues with it whatsoever uh, the screen here is a 14 inch uh, display it is about uh, 1366 by 768 pixels so not full HD but you can still get some quality work done as far as what we're looking at internal we're looking at a 3.0 gigahertz AMD A9 uh, 9420 processor uh, with an integrated graphics card from uh, Radeon, the R5 model uh, specifically. And as far as uh, storage, we are looking at a one terabyte uh, 5400 RPM. So it's not solid state, it's not gonna boot up lightning quick. However, you should be able to get a decent boot up time of about 15 seconds, so that's still not bad. And then as far as RAM overall goes, we are getting eight gigabytes of DDR3 RAM. So I'd say um, for the price, it's hard to say you could go wrong with something like this. I'm just curious to see how it holds up with a heavy usage from like Premiere Pro or any other uh, video editors. Uh, I'm going to go ahead now and take a look at the sides of the laptop itself and see how that actually looks. On this side here we have the Kensington lock, we have the headphone adapter as well as USB 2.0. And then on this side here we have a uh, we have the power adapter, we have the display port, uh, USB-C, th uh, the Thunderbolt 3, which is actually, I'm pretty surprised to see it on something this low end. I'm usually used to seeing something like this on like an $800, $900 laptop. So it's nice to know that Asus is kind of looking more towards the future with their ports. Um, then of course we have HDMI, USB 3.0, and an SD card slot. So for the package, I'd say it's pretty great. You know, it's only $400. It's not gonna, again, it's not gonna compare to something that's super high end, but we're gonna go ahead now and take a look and see what else is in the box before I give you guys the up close shots. So, right away in here, we have the standard uh, warranty and paperwork, which we both know uh, we're not gonna be using, so we're gonna go ahead and toss that to the side. And then we have the power adapter, also really light, really compact. The cord seems to be really long, so that's good to know. So aside from the standard paperwork and the uh, power adapter, it appears to me that there's actually nothing else inside the box itself. So without further ado now, I'm gonna go ahead now and give you guys an up close look at the Asus Vivo Book F402B. So there you have it guys, this was my unboxing of the Asus VivoBook F402B. If you guys like what you saw, please be sure to hit the like button down below. And if you guys actually want to see a review of this unit, be sure to subscribe so you get that notification of when I actually release that video. Until then, make sure you guys follow me at my social media down below at respect underscore tech 951. That way you guys can stay updated for all my future content. Until then, this is Paul from Respect the Tech and I'll see you guys in the next video.